Hello, Sagittarius. This is not a regular reading. This is a we need to talk reading. It's been brought to my attention that some of you Sagittarius are playing when you should be working, are working when you should be playing, and are not cutting things out that are getting in the way of the two. Okay, so we're going to pull three cards from Dreams of a Gaia Tarot. This is a very deep deck. I love this deck, but here's the book. Look at how thick that is. It's thicker than my thumb. All right. So I will be reading from the book. I'll be reading the key words, the key phrases, and the first one or two paragraphs off of each card. But that is definitely the message that I'm getting from Spirit. Mm -hmm. You're working when you should be playing. You're playing when you should be working. And you're not letting something go that's getting in the way of both. Ooh, wow, check you out. Okay. You have two major arcanas, Sagittarius. First one, there it is, it's knowledge. And look at me, I'm a Sag rising with the book. He's got a book. Okay. Uh, number nine, knowledge. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. Got it? Okay. Knowledge, skills, understanding, training, education, and practical experience. We exist to learn as we learn to exist. Knowledge is power. Has your past education served you? Do not limit your potential for learning. A time of new study and learning, an opportunity to learn about people and the world. Surrounding yourself with books and information. Does bias and unfounded prejudice close you to new knowledge? Improve upon the knowledge that you have. Where is your knowledge taking you? Does what you are learning now serve a practical purpose? Create a better future by continuing your studies. Sagittarius, you are the philosopher, you are the truth seeker. What is in the way of you continuing to grow in your knowledge? The knowledge card represents the first of eight primary reasons for being, the acquisition of knowledge. We, in our physical forms, exist to learn. As we learn to exist, knowledge is power and without it, we are powerless Ooh, where do you feel powerless, Sag? Where are you feeling powerless? It's time to get knowledge. It is knowledge that enables you to earn a living. It is knowledge that enables you to cook your meals. It is knowledge that enables you to treat a wound so that you can prevent infection. It is knowledge that enables you to move through your day and live your life. Without knowledge and the ability to acquire it, Humanity would not be the evolved species that it is. Okay. Like I said, something's in the way of you moving forward. And I believe it's emotional because it is blocking you from taking in new knowledge. And then we have the ace. Wow, we have an ace. What is that? Fire? Let's find out. Yes. Ace of Fire. Check him out, Nico. New beginnings, initiative, action, conception, invention, creation, creativity, procrastination. New beginnings and opportunities. Actively pursue your goals. Take advantage of what's being offered. Move beyond research and planning. Weave your future into being. Take something old and make it better. Break with traditions and offer something new. 
Uncertainty inspires procrastination. Meaning, like all of the ace cards, the ace of fire represents the promise of new beginnings and opportunities, but unlike the other aces, this card also represents action. It represents the power for and the necessity of taking the initiative and actively pursuing your goals. It's about taking advantage of the opportunities we are presented with as opposed to thinking about it. It is good to have a goal, to dream, and to make plans, but the Ace of Fire lets us know that, not, that now is the time to move beyond research and planning. Wow, this is a progression. Okay. Where was I? It is time to take the first real steps towards getting things underway. It is time to follow through on inspiration and create. It is time to weave your future into being. Time for you to begin your active participa participation. The act of fire also symbolizes inventiveness. Take an old idea and make it better or create something new and unique. Whatever you seek to do, you can now make it your own and imbue it with your unique perspectives and imagination. Now, rather than following tradition, do something in a way that offers a new approach. If you ha are having a block with someone, take a new approach to the situation. All right. But you see how first we gain knowledge and then we take the knowledge and we put it into action. And then who just had this? Scorpio just had this card, I believe. I believe. Crone, another major arcana. You guys are starting working through and finishing a cycle in well, one fell swoop. Good for you. Taking action, speaking up, learning, going within, learning what you can, going without, learning whatever you need to about a situation, taking action on it to become the leader in the situation. The crown, feminine power, fearlessness, authenticity, individuality, independence, new purpose, freedom, shadow self, the woman who understands her true nature. Now, if you are a man that is watching this, we all have male, feminine and masculine energy. This is taking control of your feminine energy. Ladies, this is taking control of your feminine energy, okay? The woman who understands her true nature, be aware of your choices. Be unafraid to walk your path alone, a life of your own design, untapped power and potential, a fertile and productive future, a childless state. Be unbowed and unapologetic. Respect and cherish your elders. A direct and forthright approach is needed. Do what's necessary, not what's expected. It is time to be fierce and fight back. The crone symbolizes a proud and mature woman, in aging, an aging woman, who is no longer influenced by the need to reproduce or parental responsibilities. She may be approaching or have reached a stage in her, in her life where her menstrual cycles have slowed or ceased, but she is no longer true to the... Wait, but she is no longer true to the crone archetype of old that is often depicted by Western society. The nature of the crone has evolved with the times. She is the wise woman who is like nature, wild, passionate, still, volatile, calm, peaceful, adaptable, flowing, creative, and powerful. She is everything she chooses to be. She is a woman who is aware of her choices and may well have transitioned from maiden to crone without feeling any need to or desire to be a mother. The crone is unafraid of being alone or walking her path alone. After centuries of being made an outcast and no longer being seen as having a functional role within society because her childbearing days are over, 
the crone has learned to look after her own needs. She has, by necessity, become a strong and independent individual who has found new purpose. Her life is full, has meaning and direction, and it is a life of her own design. Okay. Guys, you are beginning, middle, and end of a cycle. In one fell swoop, this cycle, whatever this is, I don't know what this is for you. Independence, strength, courage, yet in a motherly manner towards yourself and others. Coming into your own, Sag. Coming into your own, taking possession of your own life, taking possession of your own thoughts, learning yourself. You've learned so much about yourself lately. Learning all about yourself, putting action into yourself, and living your life for yourself. Sagittarius, very, very powerful. Very, very powerful month for you. All right. Whatever this is, I wish you all the best. That's all I have for you guys for now. You know I love you. Peace to you. Ciao. Bye.